Hello friends. I've been thinking about the message for today and the thought came heart check. And I thought, okay, what do you mean by that, Lord? And you know when you go to the service station and they uh, lift the hood of your car and they check the oil and they take the dipstick out, wipe it off, stick it back in, bring it out again. And if it needs oil, they bring it over and say, see, you're a little low on oil. And so just thinking about that, we're going to have a heart check today. And I love that passage in uh, it's Psalms 139. I'm going to read it out of the Amplified. And it says, Search me thoroughly, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there is any wicked or hurtful way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Now, God knows us thoroughly. He made us. And he knows our heart. But I think the psalmist called out to God to search his heart because that's for us to know about our hearts. And I have, I have this example, you know, when this is, uh, represents your spiritual heart, not a physical heart, but spiritual. It's soft, it's pliable, it uh, it's, can receive and move with the, what the Holy Spirit wants you to do. So this is your spiritual heart when you become a Christian. However, life begins to uh, cause some issues and like the psalmist was saying search me god try me test me uh let let me know if there's any way that i've gone away from you and hardened my heart and you know what a heart can you hear this that's a hard heart that is not receptive to hearing from the lord like a heart that is open to the holy spirit so we have two examples here uh, to think about that, but I wanted to share the story uh, about a hardened heart, and that is, you'll remember when the uh, children of Israel had come out of Egypt, and they were getting ready to go into the promised land. God said, this is a land flowing with milk and honey. Now, you're going to have some things that may come against you, but it's there for you. I provided it. I'm going to get you through, and so what happened was Moses sent out the 12 spies. Well, he sent out, we call them spies, but they were sent out to just check out the land and the 12 came back. The only problem was 10 were very fearful and they gave this very negative report to all the children of Israel. And that turned the hearts of the children of Israel away from what God had planned for them. It said, the people's hearts were hardened because of unbelief. They did not believe what God had told them that he would do for them. Now, you know, there was two, two of the spies that said, we can do it. We are well able. Our God is with us. But because the people believed the 10, they had to, they had to wait 40 years for the children of Israel who were left to go into the promised land that God had for them. I don't want that for us. I want us to have God search our hearts to test us, to just look into us and show us the way that maybe we've gotten off. You know, maybe it's been anxiety in this time we're living in, a doubt and unbelief in God's word. If he said it, do you really mean it, God? Well, yes, he does. And it's for us. So I wanted us to uh, uh, go into Hebrews, and that, that's a good word for the uh, what uh, the New Testament believers were say, saying, and that's in Hebrews 4.15, it says, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. And this is referring to tests and trials that we, we go through. But I think for today, uh, when God wants us to mix our faith in his word with our beliefs that we have, and then we can enter into a rest that he has for us instead of the striving and the uh, uncertainty. God has a rest for us because we're his kids and he loves us. So I thought we'd just pray today and ask God to search our hearts. You know, maybe we've gotten, gotten let in fear, doubt, unbelief, even trying to control things that we can't control. And it's time that we release those to him. And it's just a matter of saying, God, I'm sorry, I have missed it. I repent of my sins. I ask you to forgive me and I wanna enter into your rest. So would you pray with me? Let's bow our heads together. Oh Lord, we thank you for searching our hearts. 
because you know each of us intimately. Show us the areas in our lives we have not submitted to you, areas where we have been anxious rather than believing you have already made provision for us. We repent and ask forgiveness for going our way, trying to control our lives. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us today. Pour out your love and peace upon us now. And I ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, remember to keep that heart soft and let the Holy Spirit speak to you. Love you.